Hi guys, welcome to the video. I'm going to show you how to use Tripwire to map wormholes in EVE Online. Um, this is not going to be a scanning video, so I'm not going to teach you. Um, if you don't know how to scan, go and uh, watch a video on it. Um, this is fundamentally just how to use Tripwire um, in EVE Online. And I'm um, going to also show you some stuff in game, just um using so we're gonna be switching from tripwire to in game and back again a few times um first thing is first um i'm gonna use one of my old accounts to set up an account here um you do need to register uh there's two tabs here admin and user admin is basically if you want to do stuff with your corp um most people are going to want user so that's what we're going to do i'm going to log in my eve online account um, I'm going to switch user because that's not the one that I'm going to use and I will blur this out hopefully on the uh, video and there we go, that's the character we're going to use and we are authorised congratulations we can now log in so we can click on here or up here this is the normal what you'd get in and then again use Eve SSO I've never tried the other method but I'm sure it works absolutely fine um, so again we click on the character, click authorize um, and we should be into Tripwire. Okay, um, so this is basically down the bottom is where we're going to sort of map our chains. Uh, up here is where the signatures are going to be and these are going to be notes that you can share with anyone. Um, by default um, Tripwire doesn't share your data with anyone at all. Um, and you can change that by changing masks, which we'll look into a little bit later. Um, what I'm just going to do is um, add my main character because they are currently in game. Uh, and we can track uh, where they are and what they're doing. So we are now tracking my character. And if you can see here, this is orange around here. This lights up orange, which is the auto mapper, and this lights up orange here, which is follow my in-game system. We want both of these orange and this orange um, to be able to do what you do. You can also turn these off individually, um, and this is still orange here. So make sure that all three are orange, otherwise you might have some weird things happen. Um, so Sherb is currently in a Helios uh, in some random system, and if we click here, it will take us to this system. Um, we can also close these tabs here and we can make a new one uh, and then that should base us, um, you know, that's like our home system for this chain as it were. Um, we can also, if you look over here, it tells you the different lines between the chains where the wormholes are end of life. Um, destabbed, critical, or just frigate holes. Frigate holes mean that only destroyers or frigates can go down them. Um, Sometimes that's um, sometimes that's good. Certain systems um, are like frigates only, and they also get a buff. Um, but they're they're normally short lived, so be careful. Um, what I'm going to do is just jump over to Sherbs in game. And so the first thing I'm in this system here, and there are three cosmic signatures, and I am hoping one of them is a wormhole. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go into another system. So all I've done here is click into the probe scanner, click Control A, click Control C, back into Tripwire. Uh, tripwire. This doesn't seem to be. Okay, let me just play with OBS apparently quickly. Okay, back into OBS. I'm going to go into this bit here and I'm going to click Control and V. And Tripwire now knows there are three signatures here, but it doesn't know what they are. Um, so if we click on this, we can add this all in manually and fill this data out, or we can scan in game and give it a new set of data um, based on what we found. Okay, so I'm going to do that way. So I'm going to scan the signatures down in game and I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, I've um, scanned down the signatures. Um, so also there's a combat site there as well. 
So we're just going to click in here and we'll click Control A, Control C. We go back to Tripwire. I'm going to override this. Um, you can also click uh, this button here, click to delete missing signatures. Um, say that you scan a wormhole 12 hours ago and some sites have been cleared. Click that and anything that's not in that paste, it will remove. So uh, Tripwire knows that we've got two wormholes here and it thinks they're both stable. Um, he's got the signatures, he knows nothing else about them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into game. So I'm going to just hide the, uh, well, let's not bother. I'm going to go to warp to this signature here, this wormhole here. So I'm going to click save location, um, but I'm not going to save it. I'm going to push control C just to get this ID. And get my probes back in as well. And we'll see what we find. Okay, so we've got some information straight away about this wormhole. It's an R943, so I'm just going to bookmark that. R943, I'm going to save that. So now I've got a basically an instant warp. So if you see here I'm at a distance, if I warp to this one, um, I would be closer. And I'm going to again save this information here, then warp to the next spot. So just gathering information here at the moment, and this is unknown parts of space, so it's probably a C1, C2, maybe a C3. Um, as always, good to check these before you go dive into any wormholes. Um, and apparently this one here is also the same, so that's interesting. Uh, another R943, which I'm going to save into the correct folder this time wormholes. Uh, not that it really matters. Um, now let's go back into Tripwire. Um, so we know two things about these. HXB342 uh, is obviously this code. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to save this too. So these are both class 2s. Um, this is quite good actually because um, normally if this was a class 1 and a class 2 when you jump through and you're tracking the uh, tripwire would know exactly where you are but because in this case it's ambig uh, ambiguous uh, it's going to ask us which one we've gone through um, so we are close to uh, HXB at the moment so let's try and remember that as I go into HXB um, so if you notice on this side of the wormhole there's a code, on the other side it'll be a K162. If you stumble across a K162 it gives you no info, it's just an exit. You need to go to the other side of the wormhole, get the code, and then that will tell you all about the wormhole including its mass. But you can check that out on, I think there's a website called Anoikis that I use quite regularly. Um, so I'm just going to do a little scan and then I'm going to move a little bit and just put my cloak on. So we went through HXB. So back into Tripwire. It doesn't know which one we've gone through. So I'm going to click we went through this one. I'm going to click OK. So now it knows that we're in this uh, this hole at the moment. It tells you what, if any, um, the system effects are, what the system name is, um, whether it's got a low sec, a null sec. So these are statics or a class four static. You can also click on these links here to get more information about the hole. Anoikis is really helpful finding out about if you can roll a hole or not. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, and if we go back onto this side here, um, Tripwire automatically knows that this is K162. Um, let's, but it doesn't know the SIG. Um, there's a really easy way to find out um, how you can get that signature. So if I go back into game, you can see that there are many signatures and there's also an Astero that's just jumped through so that was lucky wasn't it um, so I'm just going to be a little bit insane here probably not what I'd normally do uh, and then let's just show you what I'm about to do here so yeah one of the tricks to finding out stuff is you can literally push this button center current formation on your ship and then click analyze and you should pretty much get the the um 
wormhole that you see in that. If the probes are tight enough, which they should be, cool. So we can go back to tripwire. And then we could just type in that information and click OK. And now tripwire's got that. Um, back into Eve, if you wanted to, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here to scan. So we could copy this and we could come back in here and paste it. And as we find out more information, um, we can let Tripwire know about that. Um, <laughs> this hole looks a little busy. Uh, I mean, not busy, but I'm going to go back through and check out the other C2. Um, so let's do that. Scanner probes in. So at the moment, this is all just stuff that's shared with just us. So we're just learning the basics of tripwire here. So that was uh, this guy. So I'm just going to quickly update that with the info that I know about this hole. Um, just a good practice. And if you live with anyone else in a wormhole, then good housekeeping is going to get you bonus points and not being told off by your court mates or whoever you live in the wormhole with. So let's walk to the next one. And Tripwire should probably know um, what we're about to do here, so it's not going to prompt me. Um, so if I just jump straight away, go back to Tripwire, and this should just automatically update, knowing where I am. Do, 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 do. Come on, there we go, beautiful. Um, so we've got a high sex static, which is probably um, the hole that we just came through. Um, there's a couple of guys in here, Praxis and a Cyclone. Um, this here is a K162. So they actually have, uh, so just from this information I've seen, they've got a class three static and a high sex static. Uh, this is not their static, this is a wandering high sex static. So they actually do have another high sex static which is one of these in here um so yeah uh we could go and find that um but i mean there's guys here too so i think um that's pretty much it for for tripwire in general um what i'm going to show you next is how to share stuff what you find with other people okay so We've found out this information about, however you pronounce that, Dunrelere. So I'm just going to copy this information for now, um, just so we can see that it's there. And then what I'm going to do is known what's called changing your mask. So if you go into account settings, uh, you just get that through the cog there. Um, anything that you do by default, I think only you can see, so it's probably this private one. Uh, public everyone can see and corp everyone in your corp can see so if you're in an npc corp like this character is you know maybe you're in cast or something cool um, but you can also create a mask um, and you can say who has access um, etc etc um, so i actually do have a mask already made so i'm going to try and find that um, and if i didn't have access to it it wouldn't show up so it would just say no, nothing found. So if I click on this and click add, and I've now selected that. So remember with Tripwire, we have this orange box. So I have it here, I'm gonna click save. Um, and then hopefully that should have gone away. Apparently not. Interesting. Apparently, I don't know how masks work now. Okay, I think what's happened is that because I have, I wasn't specific, it just put it there. So if I copy this and delete this, so that's all gone. And then I am in explicit with what I say. So I'm going to say private. Uh, and then I paste that in there. Apparently not. Let's try that again. Paste that in there. Um, and now if I go back to my 
other mask they should be gone okay so apparently if you don't select a mask um, whatever you then select is where it saves it to that first time but once you've set, set it you can um, go between two different masks so this mask has nothing in it if I go back to my private mask it has stuff there so that's pretty much how you um, use Tripwire and share data with other players so I hope that has been of some use to some people uh, thank you very much